Welcome to my channel. I'm pianist Yoon Kim. Today, I want to take you the behind scene of my recording trip to New York that I went a couple weeks ago uh, to record my upcoming album called Si Yoon. Every day, I started working out at this hotel gym that I had to make a reservation because only one person allowed it ended up felt like I own this gym, <laughs> my private gym, and that was a really great way of starting. In order to get to a recording studio, I had to take a train um, at Grand Central. And this place really reminded me a lot of Harry Potter. Taking train uh, was really relaxing, especially right before intense recording sessions, gather my mind and thoughts, and thought about music, and uh, it was quite relaxing. I loved it. <laughs> sound you're making is so so pretty it's just you know yeah. it's doing so beautifully so i'm That's i'm great. enjoying listening to <laughs> <laughs> but... so now i just finished a four-day marathon recording session here in octavon audio in new york um it really required a lot of stamina to keep up with the schedule um and playing a lot in, in consecutive days and keeping up with the performance energy whole time. But I feel pretty good about it and I can't wait to share this album Shiyum with you when time is right. This particular piano is Hamburg D and I absolutely love it. It has uh, so much power but yet um, has a clarity that I can create. So I absolutely love it. So this is what I you can see uh, when I sit down here, I can see Ryan, not really actually, I don't see Ryan when I sit down, but um, that's where he control the things. And you see all this microphone here, it's kind of crazy. I don't use all the microphone here, but that's all set up this way. This studio is beautiful as you can see. I love this bookshelf, you know. Um, I think, I'm not sure it's all, all music related. Oh, it's some poems, Shakespeare. Um, yeah, but I think, I think it's Ryan's personal collection, but it obviously serves also as sound muffling kind of thing. I'm not sure the story of this baby, but probably it's a backup for to piano kind of stuff. Um, this studio is really cool and spacious, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was my station for four days. Sensitivity to color and to shading and shaping phrases and lines. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, one, you know, one of the hardest things to do as a pianist, to make mm -hmm. the instrument sing and to kind of craft really beautiful spaces mm -hmm. with the instrument. You know, it's a, it's a, the piano is unique as an instrument that has its own reverb, so to speak. Yeah. You know, it's actually a very powerful thing that the piano can do that not a lot of instruments are able to do. Mm -hmm. um, independent of the space it's in, you can not just make the impression of a sustained line, but you can make the impression of a vast space uh -huh. with the piano. Uh -huh. um, and I feel like you do that really, really beautifully, um, both in pieces that are very active, like the Polonaise, um, and, and you know, you, you know, there's a lot of character and a lot of drama and a lot of range, but also, you know, I mean, in pieces like the Rifle mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's just like, as a listener, I feel like I just want to go into every detail and just 
kind of savor it and enjoy it. Oh, it's so, I so see. beautiful. So yeah, I, I mean, I think that that finding the, um, the uniqueness and what's special about those moments, but not losing sight of the structure of the pieces. The pieces still always come through as, as whole. Yeah. So I'm super tired, yet feeling good. <laughs> um, so now I think I can get to eat so much yummy food and enjoy city a couple of days. And uh, yeah, yeah, so happy. Thank you.